Hey everybody, Lori Ballen here with BallenBlogger.com. This is where I teach you how to make money with your blog and live a life by design doing so. So today I'm going to show you how to count words on a website. So how to find the word count on a website. I'm also gonna show you how to look up how many words you've published month over month. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I set a goal, I have a brand new website that I started this year, uh, that I started early 2020. And my goal is to get it to a million words to see what it actually does. This is, I've never before set a goal uh, uh, for word count. This time I actually did. Let me show you how to do this real quick and then I'll explain a little bit more about why I'm doing that. Um, I'm gonna go over to dashboard now I'm on a WordPress website and I have a plugin and the plugin right here, word count, I'm going to go ahead and open that. WP word count is what I'm using. This is the free version and I'll put a link below. And if you would like to get WP word count, Pro, which I'm just now thinking about upgrading to, you can actually see more graphs and charts. So if you're a, a visual statistic person, this is going to give you a lot more bells and whistles when it comes to visuals and charts. Okay. But here's what I'm looking at. If you go right here to calculate for the very first time, once you install the plugin, so link below, get your WP word count, download it to your computer. Then you go over to plugins. You're going to click on add new. Give that a second to catch up here. I'm not, I'm not hardwired in. And then we're going to go upload plugin, choose file, and you're going to find that WP word count file that has to be in its zip form. So it should say WP word count dot zip, something like that. And then you're going to choose file and upload it. Then you're going to click activate. Once it's activated, it's going to show up here in the left hand side. Go ahead and click on word count. And the very first time you use it, you need to go to calculate. And then you're going to click calculate word counts. Now, after you do this once, you won't have to click that button again. After that, it's automated. So what's really cool now is if I go over to all content, this is this is what I'm I'm really excited about. Um, all content shows me uh, my longest articles, and it gives me a quick synopsis of right now. I have three hundred and nineteen thousand. 184 published words. So 320,000 published words, let's just say. But if I go over here to monthly statistics, this is going to be really excellent when I go back and compare when I did what on what website so that I can create more of a duplicable format that I can, I can say, okay, let me do this on another website. How many words do I want to produce? Because it's not just about words on the page, obviously. It's about how well we're covering a topic, but typically that relates to long form content, right? Word, higher word count. So we'll look, at, look at this over here. When we go back to where my website started, which is actually right here in January of 2020, I'm not sure what those old, that must have something to do with the plugin. So uh, mine started in January of 2020. I wrote one article, <laughs> right? I published one post and I published seven pages. So you can see it right here. One total post, seven pages, 30 words, 1,561 words. Or you can look at the total word count, which was 1,605. So in January, my, my total word count published was 1,600. So I barely did anything. I was just starting the website. And I actually started a big project in January where I was dividing up one uh, one of my, one of my larger sites and I was dividing it up into several niche sites so I could get more long tail and more specific and targeted on those different, different ones. So this didn't get all my attention at first, obviously. And what's funny is if I didn't have this word, uh, WP word count to check how many words are on my website, I would not have remembered that I didn't do anything in January, February. So this is so cool to have these statistics. 
in March, I only did 11 articles. So I published 6,677. So you can see that word count's pretty significant increase. And then in April, I had more time to spend on it, 14,000 words. In May, 15,000 words. Wait for it, something huge is coming. In June, 20,000 words. In July, 38,000 words. I doubled the month before. And then I dropped back to only 15 in August, 13 in September. But then in October, look at this. I published 87,000 words in October, 96,000 words in November. And then today is the beginning of December and I'm already at 10,000 words. Today's December 2nd when I'm making this video. So what happened for me was I got uh, time freed up. I got some resources freed up so that I can invest in buying some content because I don't write it all myself. And I got inspired to hit this 1 million word goal because I really need to see in this particular niche where that goes. What does that earn? What does a million words on a website that is a year old or 18 months old or then two years old, what does that return? Is it 2,000 a month, 3,000 a month, 4,000 a month, 5,000 a month? I need the data. <laughs> so then I, I know a little bit more how to, how, to, how to scale from there. So the million word goal was created because I first, I want to say I was watching a, a video with authority hackers. Potentially, I love their stuff. Um, they're, they're definitely in the trenches with this, with this. So it's fun to watch their take on things. Um, I think they were interviewing somebody or they talked about a million words. And then uh, John Dykstra did one on a million words um, and his comparison on somebody else quoting a million words. So I just thought, you know what? They're all saying a million words. So I just wanna see how quick and, and, and done well, done right, can I get to a million words? Now, keep in mind, I've got a ton of experience in this. I've been blogging since AOL said, you've got mail. And I've been doing search engine optimization since that same day. So this is definitely what I do. I earn six figures in affiliate income, um, just, just from affiliate income. And then I also uh, sell courses and training inside balanacademy.com, which I also teach people how to build courses and their email lists and their funnels. And I own a real estate business also. So I earn income through real estate business, which is also driven through blogging and through social influence. And then I started a marketing company that I have an interest in that my brothers now own and operate. And that also is driven through blogging, SEO and social influence. So, and I have eight uh, niche websites now that I'm working on. So that's why I'm teaching this. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel, balanblogger.com. Come on over and check out balanacademy.com. And I am Lori Ballin. Thanks for joining me today.